A Chicago mom who lost her son after a long fight in the NICU continues to help other families with children in the hospital. So Jackson Chance was born with a chronic lung condition back in November of 2011. He and his parents spent nearly 10 months of his life in the NICU. It became home away from home and on top of high medical costs, the cost to park and be there every day really added up. And that inspired Carrie to start the Jackson Chance Foundation in memory of her son. The foundation partners with hospitals to provide free parking passes to every family with a child in the NICU. And this weekend, there's a bike ride to support the cause and also raise money to continue on in this mission. Carrie McGee joining us live now here in studio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so inspired that you're using such a difficult time in your life to turn it around and help families because you know where they've been. Can you tell us more about the foundation? Yeah, so we started the foundation after spending 10 months in the hospital with Jackson. And we were really shocked that the cost of parking became um, a true obstacle for families. And we saw so many babies alone and families just couldn't be there as much as they needed to be. So our foundation provides parking passes to families with babies at Lurie Children's, Northwestern Prentice, and Rush Children's Hospital. Oh, that's so amazing. You guys have grown so much uh, since you first started. Can you talk about that a little bit, the support that people have rallied around you to make this happen? I mean, it's been amazing. I think we're up to raising close to seven and a half million dollars. Wow. Um, we're at three hospitals. We're working on launching our fourth hospital, um, hopefully at Comer this year. Um, the support of the Chicago community has just been overwhelming. It's been great. It's, That's amazing. It, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a need that I think people can really relate to, so they understand it, and it's really simple. It's like, you know, parking, you need to be with your baby, so. Yeah. And it's also great, because, you know, a $10 donation can give a day of parking. So it's really accessible for people to donate and really feel like they're having a really great impact. Yeah, it's that, it's that saying that we talk about, that a little bit can go a yes. long way, and in this case, it really can. Absolutely. It removes that one obstacle. So you have a two-day bike ride coming up this weekend. Yes. Um, uh, such a big deal. Can you tell me about that ride and how it helps just further the mission and the fundraising? Yeah, it's one of our um, largest, our second largest fundraiser of the year. We have a group of riders. We bike from Chicago to Valpo and back. Um, yeah, it's a fun ride. It's a weekend. Every rider um, raises money and funds to support the, the babies. Um, it's a really great experience. And like I said, it's one of our largest fundraisers. I'm imagining being there is emotional in so many ways. Can you tell me about what the the, the atmosphere yeah. and the vibes are like for people coming up to help you? I mean, it's it's super emotional. It's, um, I mean, I feel like Jackson's with me. It makes me proud. We have so many um, families and parents of other NICU babies who are recipients of the past who actually bike with us, mm. which to hear and see firsthand um, the impact his life is having on people is just really special. And I'm thinking about moments where I'm sure you've been able to really sit there and hug or hold the hand of those families as they yeah. go through what you guys went through. Yeah, I mean, it's been, we've been able to visit the hospital and I've been able to meet babies, um, you know, after they're out of the hospital and home and grow up and become, you know, young young children. It's, it's really special. And you're biking 111 miles and yes. that's a special number. What does that mean to yes. you? Well, Jackson was born at 11, 11, 11 wow. at 11, 11 p.m. <sighs> So 11 is just a really special number to us. So we, um, that's why we chose 11, 111 miles for the bike ride. Wow, that's so special. Yeah. Lastly, I would love for you to tell people who are watching, who are wondering, I really want to help. How yeah. can I do it? Yeah, I mean, the, f the ride is to raise money. So we're looking for donations. You can go to jacksonchance.org and um, hopefully donate. And like I said before, as little as $10 can provide a day of parking. So. All right, Carrie, thank you so thank much you. for being here with yeah. us and sharing this mission. It's so powerful, and we just appreciate you yeah, being thank here. You for having me. Yeah, of course. So we do want to mention that the Owl Ride for Jackson is this week, and again, it's both Saturday and Sunday. You can learn more online or donate and just join with the mission at jacksonchance.org.